everybody, welcome back to another episode of Movie Feuds. You know, we typically review some pretty big blockbusters, so this week we're gonna flip it to our top five most underrated movies of all time. I thought it was underwear movies. What? What is an, a what's an underwear movie? Risky Business, The Pelican Brief. It's uh, not even about underwear. It's a plan words. So, so do you need some time then to do some underrated movies? Oh, no, 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 no. I got this. Do you see. always have lists? I just got lists upon this here. Oh, it's right on the top here. Yeah, let's do this. Let's start with my number five list, and it is the superior underrated list. Number five, Emperor's New Groove. A little Disney gem that for some reason people just passed by like it was nothing. Great voice acting by David Spade and Putty from Seinfeld. I, I don't know his real actor name, and I'm certainly not going to do any research on it. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. I know Corey personally loves it. I actually haven't even seen it. I didn't even know it existed until this morning. Well, this is awkward. Kinda. I can't believe this is happening! Then I bet you weren't expecting this. No! No! Uh -huh. uh. oh. oh, okay. The Emperor's New Groove. My number five flick is none other than Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet. I'm already bored of your now, list. I know Adam doesn't really like these kind of movies, but uh, I think it's a great take on uh, Shakespeare's classic play, and of course starring my boy Leo DiCaprio in the mainstay, who at the time was Claire Danes. What, what does that even mean? I don't like these type she of movies. She was already pretty popular. No, no, the, the, the movie comment, is it a musical? Why wouldn't I like it? I just think that uh, you know you don't have a, a knack for the drama, you know, the, the Interesting. theater, Interesting. if you will. I have never seen it, so I guess there is that. That's the truly underrated part of it. Leonardo DiCaprio, Claire Danes, in William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Good night. Good night. The Count of Monte Cristo takes my number four spot. Why emphasize the O? Good point, Corey. Why not emphasize the entire flick? What? Unfortunately, it was left it. out to sea to die. It's got swashbuckling. What, it's what got is swashbuckling? It's like sword fighting for pirates. Oh, okay. Betrayal, buried treasure. Think of it as, as the Shawshank Redemption meets Pirates of the Caribbean. The number four spot on my list of underrated movies is a little flick called The Life of David Gale. Now, mm. ensemble cast here with Kevin Spacey alongside Laura, Laura Linney. Laura Linney, yeah. Uh, I think her name is Laura Linney. Well, it's Laura for short. I mean, Lauren being the full name by I, birth rate. I don't think that's... Can I finish? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, Kate Winslet, who plays an investigative reporter who is trying to get knowledge about uh, Kevin Spacey's David Gale, who's behind bars for, you know, accused of murdering his uh, friend. Sounds really great. It's not. The life of David Gale. Gina Davis, Samuel L. Jackson, The Long Kiss Goodnight. Do I have to say anything else? Gina Davis? Yeah, I guess she's not really a selling point anymore. So but much. she was back in the early 90s, mid 90s, and that's when The Long Kiss Good Night should have been seen, but was not. I'll watch any movie of Samuel L. Jackson pre Snakes on the Plane. Charlie Baltimore's alive, sir. Who are you? His name's Charlie. The spy. Back when we first met, you were all like, oh, fooey, I burned the darn muffins. Now. You go into a bar, 10 minutes later, sailors come running out. Gina Davis, Samuel L. Jackson, The Long Kiss, Good Night. Well, my number three most underrated movie of all time is one of my favorite comedies of all time, and that's Super Troopers. Now, in the list of all time great comedies, Super Troopers is rarely mentioned, but. Because it's not funny. I think this is definitely Broken Lizard's best movie, and with that cast, you can't really go wrong. Who's in it? <laughs> Do we look like the two dumbest guys in the world to you? Go. Super Troopers. Wow. In this town, you don't mess with the law. You know how fast you're going? 65. 63. The law messes with you. Isn't the speed limit 65? Yeah, it is. I'm freaking out, man. Everybody's heard of Lord of the Rings and King Kong, but most people don't know Peter Jackson had a little gem before those films called The Frighteners. Features my boy Michael J. Fox. Yes. It's both a horror film and a comedy, which is a hard balancing act to do. And it's understandable it didn't go mainstream for that purpose. For their lives. I've seen a figure in a cape. 
That was the soul collector. You don't stop till the screaming starts, you dig? The Frighteners. Numero dos on my list, and that's Spanish for number two. That's Spanish for don't. The Zodiac. Now, David Fincher, director of Fight Club, of Seven, of Benjamin Button, uh, Social Network, and most recently, uh, The Growth of Dragon Tattoo. Yeah. This is a mystery slash thriller that keeps you on the edge of the seat the entire time. It's really nice, too, because it's not your typical thriller. It follows more what happens to the guy studying the killer, and not so much the killer itself. And based on a true story. Based on my story. Wait, what? Are you sure there's nobody else in the house? The number one movie on my list, a film everybody should see but hasn't, The Game. Featuring Michael Douglas, star-studded performance, great twists, and it's directed by David Fincher, a guy you may remember from such films as Fight Club, Seven, Benjamin Button, The Social Network, and most recently, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I said all of that not five minutes ago. No! They make your life fun. Well, we saved for the best for last, and that's because my number one most underrated movie of all time... I'm excited. ...is my favorite movie, Boiler Room. And now I'm depressed. Star Studded cast starring uh, Vin Diesel and Giovanni Ribisi and Ben Affleck and Jamie Kennedy and Scott Kahn. A laundry list of actors I never want to see in a movie. This isn't your run-of-the-mill crime and thriller here. It's got drugs and sex and gambling and... I think Big Mama's House meets Daddy Daycare. No, I don't think that's fair, and I think the most comparison here is Rounders meets Wall Street, but I've never seen film. I've never seen it. I'm actually I'm sure it's really good, but I'll never watch it. I'm destroying people's lives. I want to get out of the firm. I don't care what you do anymore. Just get out of here! Seth Davis here. It's time, Seth. Giovanni Ribisi, Vin Diesel, Neil Long, Tom Everett Scott, and Ben Affleck. Anybody who tells you money is the root of all evil doesn't have any. <sighs> all right, C Fly, now that we got through this list, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and finish my underwear one that I handcrafted. Uh, starting with the, I think it was at the three spot, Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. Uh, number two, we got Night at the Roxbury. Should I be worried that you know so many movies by their underwear scenes? Frankly, I'm a little worried that you don't. Why emphasize the O? Good point, Corey. <laughs> I forgot your name. <laughs> it's got one of my favorite action moments that I just eat up, and that's what she... <laughs> And it's got one of my favorite action moments that I just eat up, and that's when she takes the neck of it. <laughs> just, then I just eat up. <laughs> and it has one of my favorite action scenes that I just eat up. And that's when Gina Davis takes the neck of a dying deer and snaps it. You just eat up the scene where she eats. <laughs> <laughs>